Hi, my name is Jesse Shale, and I'm the head football coach here at Miami Christian School in Miami, Florida. In this clip, I'm going to show you how to put on football equipment. And it all starts with the important, most important pieces you've probably got, which is your feet. It's going to take you wherever you're going. And if you look down here, we got uh, our, our person outfitted with uh, some cleats as well as his socks. If you ever go out and buy a new pair of cleats and you're going to work it out at football, you probably want to make sure that you're doubling up on your socks. You want to prevent blisters, and that's one of the ways that you can kind of make sure that that doesn't happen. Okay, from there, you move to the pants. Now, this player already has his pants on. But in your pants, you have the slots for the knee pads, thigh pads, we've also got hip pads, and a butt pad. And all there's slots inside your pants for some of these. You may have to go out and purchase a girdle, which is a, like another pair of pants in which you can put some of those pads. Or some options have with the belt that you can slide those pads onto the belt itself. Okay, so what, that's kind of how the pants come together. And these are very important pads because they're protecting a lot of your big muscles in your legs. Okay, now we move up to the chest area. And uh, if our player will go down and pick up his shoulder pads, okay. The shoulder pads are, well, some might call your armor, your, uh, your protection. And you go ahead and just put those on as you would maybe a sweater or a pullover. There's a couple clips, go ahead and scoot around, there's a couple clips here in the back. And um, you know, once a player gets used to using these, he'll know where to reach for them. But both of these clips are going to go under the arms and come around to the front. So I'm going to turn him around. Both of these clips are going to come under and around. So go ahead and put your arms out. There's slots in the front, depending on what kind of shoulder pads you've got, but there's slots in the front for the, um, the pieces to go into. Uh, some of them have these little, these, uh, little metal uh, slots like this. Uh, some might actually just have a little button that it slides over. You get both of these and you put them into the slots. What I like to tell my players is if it doesn't feel tight, it's not tight enough. You're going to have a lot of people trying to move your shoulder pads around during the game. And so you need to get these as tight to your chest as you can while still being able to comfortably, comfortably breathe. If you haven't already tied these laces, these laces hold the pieces together of the shoulder pads. So you want to make sure those are good and tight as well. Some of them have little clips that you can tighten as well. Okay, after you've gotten this far, then you check out our, our practice jersey. Now, this is going to be a hard part sometimes for, for people to put on. The important thing is arms first. If you've already got your shoulder pads on, which is usually the way it is, you put your arms through the holes first. Then, proceeding then, you take the head hole and stick your head through the head hole. You probably need a teammate or a coach to help you out in the final part, which is pulling on the back of the jersey over top. Once you've gotten used to this, you can actually put your jersey on the shoulder pads before you put the shoulder pads on. So it's just one unit to put on. Finally, the helmet. The helmet, I'm gonna tell you this right now, one of the most, one of the most important things about your helmet, this is meant to stay on your head. So you wanna pull these ear pieces apart in order to get this on your head because after that, it's gonna hold tightly on your head. Once you do that, it's simply a matter of strapping up the straps and making sure your mouthpiece is in. And so we've just been talking about how to put on some of your basic football equipment. This has been Coach Jesse Shale. Thanks for watching.